Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com and today's lesson of the day. In our last lesson we looked at how to take a strategy from the idea stage to the rules-based entry and exit stage in a course which is being put together by InformTrades community member and founder of OneStepRemove.com, Sean Overton. In today's lesson we're going to continue this discussion with a look at the proper methodology for backtesting these rules. So let's get started. Hi, this is Sean Overton with OneStepRemove.com in partnership with InformTrades.com. In today's lesson, we're going to start talking about backtesting. And we're also, as a part of that, going to talk about curve fitting. Curve fitting is the idea that you look at historical charts, backtesting, and you come up with a perfect strategy using the benefit of hindsight. The problem with that is most people wind up cherry picking the absolute perfect strategy for that period of time and because it's over optimized it falls apart on the current and future markets making it totally worthless. In order to avoid that we're going to follow the techniques discussed in this video to minimize the chance of that happening to you. The way you start is you decide what period am I going to use to backtest. With the euro dollar strategy we came up with obviously we want to start looking at euro dollar and I program the strategy in TradeStation. One of the limitations of TradeStation is that the euro dollar data only goes back to October of 2002. That leaves us with less than six years to look at since it's currently August of 2008. What I'm going to do is to divide that period in half, one for a back test and one for a walk forward test. The back test we're going to talk about today, the next lesson will be the walk forward test. So, I came up with the strategy on a euro dollar one hour chart and we're going to look at it in the three eight year time frame from October of 2002 to October of 2005. First thing I notice when loading on the chart is A, it looks pretty choppy and B, it seems to jump in the market too quickly. The RSI seems to have a resistance level of 70 and then the market will turn back down and uh, hit 65 before it turns back up again which stops us out and doesn't make for a profitable strategy. What I want to do is look for a different value other than 70 to see if we can eliminate these early um, these early trades. To do that I'm going to use the TradeStation optimization feature and this is something you have to be very careful with. Optimizing is closely associated with curve fitting. The techniques we're going to do today are designed to reduce the chance of curve fitting but you have to be very careful with optimizing because you can easily overdo it. After running the optimization test I came out with a value of 73 and after uh, after running an optimization test you're almost always going to get a pretty looking equity curve like this one. Don't get too excited because you want to see if it's going to hold up. The first filter we're going to apply is a time frame analysis and we started by looking at a one hour chart. What we're going to do is we're going to look at a five minute chart, a 15 minute chart and we're going to expand it all the way out to a daily chart to see if this strategy holds any merit over time and across multiple time frames. And you can see from this, uh, from this image that it actually does, that the five minute equity curve looks phenomenal and then it gets progressively more choppy as you expand the time frame. One very, very important note is that I eliminated commissions and I eliminated spread costs from this analysis. That is totally unrealistic. What I'm looking for is strictly a similar pattern of market behavior, not the tradability of that behavior. And when we, after we've run these techniques down the road, we'll apply the commissions and spreads to get an idea of which time frame to consider applying the strategy to. The next step after running this time frame analysis is to apply the strategy to other currency pairs because we decided it's a forex strategy and it's a trending strategy so we're going to look at other forex pairs that trend pound yen, aussie dollar, euro yen, dollar yen, etc. What we want to find is that the one hour equity curve behaves in a similar fashion and we also want to find that the time frame analysis applied to each currency pair holds similar to the way the strategy behaved on the euro dollar. When we load these charts you can see some images here on the screen showing that they are profitable without the spreads and commissions 
on the time frame we analyzed as well as the other time frames. So you can see that there's a consistent pattern of behavior based on the RSI. And the next and what this tells us is that we feel confident enough to consider running a walk forward test. And that's what we're going to do in the next lesson. Until then, this is Sean Overton with OneStepRemove.com. Thank you for listening.